Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to the Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you are new here, be sure to leave a like and a subscribe down below. It really helps the channel out, and, and of course, it makes sure that you stay uh, apprised of all the goings on around here. If you are new, you want to check out the card on the right hand side of the screen that'll take you back to the rest of the playlist of this run, so you can see all the all the goings on from when we chose our starter to when we you know got up through through uh, Pewter City and fought Brock, yada yada yada, all the other good stuff. It's all there. For those of you who have been here, you know we're going to go into Mount Moon today, but first let's recap the team real quick. We've got Wednesday, our Zubat, who is proving to be a mighty addition to our team. She is careful, and I looked, by the way, it is special defense up, special attack down, I believe it was? Which for her is completely fine. She is a poison flying type. Her early bird makes sure that she, she wakes up quickly from those pesky naps. Her attack stat is still her highest, which for a poison flying type is totally fine. Her speed is her next highest. Again, totally fine. Uh, her defenses leave a little bit of something to to, to, to to be desired, I guess. Her physical defense is, is the better of the two. It's actually her third highest stat, so overall not so bad. Her special defense is a little bit on the low side, but her nature will bump it up a little bit at least. And her special attack, of course, is kind of relevant really overall. She's got Peck and Acid, which is, which, which is what she started with, and she has since learned Poison Tail, giving her a lovely stab crit happy move that I'm going to enjoy using to its fullest effect on whoever I can find. Next we have Sigurd, who still has his keen eye, cannot be made blind or less accurate. His physical attack and speed remain his two best stats, which makes me just ever more depressed that he cannot become a Gallade, because that would be amazing, but he can't in Gen 3, so alas, here we are. His defenses are his next best stats, not anything to, to uh, get too excited about, but they are there. And his health is actually really high as well, that's one thing I should note, his health pool is absurd for for, for, for our alts. And he's rocking his Slash and Luster Purge in prison, which I haven't really had a chance to use too much. But Slash and Luster Purge are just really, really solid moves to fall back on, and for the proof he wants to be, a, the, the, the poor man wants to be a uh, Gallade, but what you gonna do? The Chosen, our magic carp of mass destruction, that has clear body and cannot be stopped, cannot be be, be contained, and of course is 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 steadily on track with being um, the the walliest Gyarados of all time. It is a sassy nature, of course, which is a special defense up, speed down, which gives it a, 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 a come on, English, work with me here. Uh -huh. A special defense of 20, a speed and defense of 18, and its offense is way in the back somewhere at 11. So, offensively, not that exciting, but defensively, my, my, my. And of course, it's rocking that bubble beam for its only stab offensive move. So, hoping to get some kind of toxic or something like that on, on, on him, because that's going to be his, his uh, bread and butter. But we'll see how we go. Nidhogg, the, the 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 MVP of our team right now, our second catch. Uh, well, it was it was our our second attempt, uh, second attempted catch, our second Pokemon overall to the team with his shell armor, making sure that he cannot be crit for any reason. He is quirky, so he's in neutral nature. Special attack is dominating at 26, although his his defense is actually out, is actually uh, outpaced a little bit at 27. Next highest is speed at 20, and then defense at 18 before his attack at a distant 12. So really. The fact that it knows Twister and Confusion makes it excellent because it's it's fully, fully a special dragon, and that's going to be amazing. So, Wednesday has been a phenomenal addition to our team because we needed a physical sweeper. We now have one. It's going to be great. But now we're going into Mount Moon to see what we can catch in here. So, without any further ado, so let us see what there is to see in Mount Moon. So, TM there. I think it's Bullet Seed normally. Do something else now. There's trainers here and over there. Um, you know, let's, let's, let's just fight this guy. Why not? Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Are you suspicious? Um, you're just sort of living here. You're, you're, you're just standing here all day, bug catcher Cammy. Sunkern. Well, sucks to be you because Wednesday is all over that mess. Oh, she tr it, it has trace. That's nice. Trace this. Because with that, that Poison Stab, high attack stat, that's 75 damage of Poison Super Effectiveness hitting you straight in the face. Lotad, another Grass type. You poor, poor, poor Bug Trainer. I am sorry. I, I am genuinely repentant that you got ruined this hard. Uh, that makes me sound like a jerk. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just proud of my Wednesday. Because, honestly... In every single run we have done between our Vito Scription and I, someone has had a Zubat, and it's finally my turn, and she's looking amazing. Like I gotta say, I'm 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 pretty stoked about all this. Calcium, special attack up. I know where that's going. Oh, Nidhog, 
here get even more awesome than you already were, little friend. <laughs> yes. Grow strong. Because seriously, he like if 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 if, if this uh, if this run keeps up the way that it's been going, Nidhogg is carrying this stable. Now then, let us see what we have to see in this cave of ours. Oh, <gasps> peanut! I mean, it's not peanut anyway, because it's a boy. But like, I I had a fan pee back in the crystal nuzlocke, and she died, and it was sad. But she he 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 is the son of peanut. We must have the son of peanut. Also, it's a ground type, which is different than anything else I have. Right? Well, it's it's the same typing as uh, well, not the same typing, but. Ha I can't speak today. It has the same typing as you, Dot you Dead does, but he's also part poison, which overlaps with Wednesday here. So this is actually kind of exciting because I would love, love to have 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 a Dawn fan on 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 the party again if it would just behave itself and get in the dang ball. Let me just throw a few more acids at it actually, because it does seem to have a pretty good defense and it resists uh, poison, so. It knows reflect. Oh, that's exciting. That's a that's a that's a darn that's a dang handy move. Also, well, sand two and reflect is kind of a lousy combo, but oh, I want this Pokemon now. Give me the Pokemon. Sorry, <coughs> Swords Dance reflect. You win. I want this. Get in the ball, please. Please don't sweep my team. You're gonna scare the crap out of me if you keep this up. Uh, uh, one more acid. Get it in the red. Come on, Fan P, love me. Be my friend, I I please. Because it can't hurt me right now. We, we we have the perfect Pokemon to catch this thing. It can't hurt me. It doesn't have a, a, a non-ground move. Please? Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm pleased. I'm, I'm very happy right now. You have no idea. A swords dance, Fan P? And be the long Pokemon. It swings its long snout around playfully because it is so strong. This can be dangerous. I bet it no swords dance. It's a sharp trunk. Now, one of our viewers has been asking uh, to be named in our uh, Nuzlocke run, which is totally fine. So, welcome Julian the Fan P. There you go, Julian. Hopefully, that's satisfactory to you. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. It's got it's brave. Let's uh, attack up defense. No wait. There's Brave and there's Bold. I think Brave is attack up speed down. Bold is like defense up attack down, I think. It's got Sturdy! It's... It can't be one hit killed. Well, I mean, it can be one hit killed by like powerful moves, but not by like guillotine or whatever. Defense is 20. It's attack and uh, it's it's two two offensive um, typings are next and then uh, special defense at 13. So it's, it's a little on the flimsier side, but it's basically just tanking its speed for its other stats, which is totally fine. And I don't mind its attack being too low because it's got sword stats of all things. Look at these moves. It can reflect to, to, to save the whole team. Swords dance to buff itself to infinity. We gotta do we, 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 we have to find a better move than Sand Tomb, but other than that, that's phenomenal. Can you learn Peck by any chance? Because it might not be that great of a move, but it's a, a move that's better than what you got. No. <sighs> Sad. Okay, whatever. Okay, that makes me happy. Like, you have no idea. What's this now? Oh, Sand Tomb. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> You give me Pokemon and it already knows the move that's here? Are you kidding me? I could teach it to, to, to the Chosen or Nidhogg, but like, neither of them is physically inclined. Then again, it does give the Chosen something else besides a water move. So you know what, I think I'll just give it to him for now. Because it's 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 damage over time as well. And since his, his offensive stats are a bit lackluster, I think that makes him the best candidate. There you go, friendo. Our team is just so weird and I love it. Oh. Hang on. The next contender co A Mudkip! What? I could have had a Mudkip! I mean, I, 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 I already have a water type, but that still makes me sad. Uh, Whirlpool. Okay, that makes sense. It's Stab. Alright, Wednesday, you got this. Poor Mudkip. I could have had a Mudkip, though. Ah. Oh. We just go, go, go uh, heal Julian and, and we'll be right back in. Oh. So there are still Zubats in this cave. Is it just impossible to not have Zubats in this cave? I guess. It's fine. 
Wednesday's got this. She 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 is the queen of all Zubats, as far as I'm concerned. That wasn't even remotely what it sounded like. Okay, one second, guys. Okay, we're back. Did a quick heal there, and we're now back. Julian's up in front. Let's train him as best we can. Let's fight this lady first. A girl. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here by the entrance where it's perfectly safe. Thank you very much. You know what? Honestly, not a bad strategy. Normally she has an, an Oddish or a Bell's Tame or Thomas. Okay. Hijoto. Well, you know what? That might just work. Uproar. But my massive, massive defense stat on Julian is going to be very helpful here. Wait, what am I doing? I, I can't fight it. Never mind, it's a bird. Eh. I was going to use Swords Dance and have Julian get the experience, but he literally cannot because he's, you know, ground moves. Oh well. The Reflect is still handy, and the Poison Tail will still do all kinds of damage for us. Shing, shing. That did not do as much damage as, as I was hoping it would do. This Pidgeotto clearly has some tank going for it. Although it's a attack stat is apparently nothing. Like, non-existent. Can we pretty please get a poison in on this thing? Maybe a crit. Crit would be good. Crit, yes, crit, please. Yeah, no, no, no. Whirlwind! Stop spreading the experience around. Dang it. It's fine. Bubble beams for everyone. I'm a wall. Never mind. He's gonna say that I'm a, I'm a wall, but apparently he gets crits and I don't get crits. Or she, sorry, she gets crits. I don't get crits. <laughs> Uproar is one of those moves that I just, I just don't use because it locks you in. It's just risky. Don't like it. Good experience on the Pidgeotto, though. 112, 112, level 13 for Wednesday. Two more HP, one more in both attacks and speed. The Chosen is almost level 15, which means he'll soon be learning a new move as well, actually. I... I lost? Yeah. Sorry about that. Alright, let's push in a little bit farther. I'm not ready to go back and heal just this moment. We just got here. Another item up ahead, and a dude. Spinnerack! What a lot of these lately. Alright, let's uh, actually let Julian fight this. Well, he is low level. Well, we have Swords Dance. It should be fine... Question mark? Hopefully. Keep an eye on that Fury Cutter is all. Acid. We resist that. That's fine. Get a couple of Swords Dances in us and we'll be just fine, I think. Because he... Ah! Super Fang! I forgot it had that. It cuts your health in half, which isn't like, you know, it's not going to kill you, but it makes it not a losing prospect to fight it, is the problem. Yeah, Fury Cutter is not, is not going to kill us, no matter what it does. So let's try a Double Swords Dance Sand Tomb. It's not bad, actually. Shame that the uh, damage over time doesn't share in all the boosts we just went through. Let's go ahead and down a potion. If I use Super Fang again, I'll be very, very sad. Dang it! <clears throat> Stop that! Don't have me waste my potions. It's expensive. It's fine, whatever. I'll land one more... Sand Tomb and you'll be dead. I'll have to heal again, though, because that's just gonna keep coming out of my health. Would you stop doing that, please? Julian has all the power he needs. He just needs a few more levels, a few more HP, you know? Didn't even level. Are you kidding me? PP up. Nice. Alright. On the off chance that whatever he's got has Pursuit, I better heal just in case, because I never can be too careful in this. It is, an, it is a randomizer, and you don't know what you're gonna do. Bleh. You do not know what you're gonna get. What? Don't sneak up on me! I'm doing important science things in a cave! <coughs> yeah, pardon me. Dancer Esteban. That's the second Esteban I've seen. Slowpoke. Slowpoke. Well, um, can't fight him with Julian, can't fight him with Wednesday. Uh, Sigurd resists Psychic, so I guess he wins. Come on, buddy. Rain Dance. Let's not get soaked to death, preferably, please. Let's go with Slash, because he resists Luster Purge, of course. Bubble Beam! That's gonna hurt. Please don't have Apocalyptically High Attack! Ouch! That hurt. 
Okay, never mind. We're not fighting you with Sigurd after all. I have, ref I have, I have changed my mind. We're going back to Nidhogg. Nidhogg is where it's at. Nidhogg has the 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 type thing that resists this mess. Skill swap. Okay, you now have my shell armor, which I don't like. What do I have? Or not ship. Sorry, since uh, I don't know what I have. I don't I, I I don't know what his ability is, so I don't know what I have. That's a problem. Whatever. Just twister him. There we go. I don't know what I have, but he's dead, so that means I win. Look at the stat gains! Two in everything but special attack, which is a one, which is totally fine, because yeah. Levels for everyone. Oh, not levels, sorry. Cubone! That should be the Chosen's bag, but he is a little bit banged up right now. So we need to heal him. Alright, Mr. Bone. What do you got? Oh, it's raining too! I almost forgot. Cool. My bubble beams will be even stronger than usual then. Let's throw caution to the wind. Because we, 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 we went first. Our attack is low, but with super effective Rain Dance boosted bubble beam. Oh, he didn't even die. Fury attack. Yeah, it makes me nervous. I don't like it. <clears throat> we're, we're, we'll probably live, but it's going to be a little bit squeaky. Now we're all right. The rain has stopped, but our bubble beam has not. So let's see. What does the Chosen get? What is his level 15 move? Be something really good, please. Something really cool. Be awesome. So instead of tackle, we get... Frustration. Really? I mean, that's okay now, I guess, but it's gonna get worse the more he likes us. My Pokemon won't do! Oh, it just won't do! No! Yeah, well, that's how I feel. Because <coughs> I want the Chosen to work, I want him to be on our team, but his moves, I mean, his, his Bubble Beam is fine, but he needs some, some, some better wall moves, you know what I mean? He needs, like, Toxic. Either and female. That's fair enough. Could have had an Edo Queen. With Drought, no less. I forgot that it had that. That's cool. Sludge! Stab, which is good for you, but I resist it, so haha. -ha. Now, it's super effective. Um, sorry, I am super effective against, against her, so. Shouldn't need as many boosts against her. Let's just use the one. The moment Julian learns a better ground move, we are we are just going straight to Vegas because it'll be it'll be winds all the way down. But for now, we're uh, constrained a little bit by Sand Tomb. But that's okay. The randomizer is all about using what you got and making the best of it. So that is a okay. Can you stop sludging me, please? I'm gonna get poisoned. I don't want to get poisoned. Poison is bad for you. I should have done two. Should have done two swords dances. Oh well. So she knows poison sting and sludge. And that's the one that poisons me. Alright, fine. Have it your way. And I missed. Should definitely have done two sword uh, two two swords dances. <laughs> I wonder if Gyarados will be able to learn Peck when he evolves. Because he's part flying, and things do learn different moves in this. Oh, really? Are you kidding me? Game, are you trying to... to, to mm? Game. I'm not going to die, but it's making me nervous about this, is all. How are we doing for experience? Uh, nowhere near, nowhere near, nowhere near, nowhere near. Yeah. Right. Wednesday can take it. She's not going to get poisoned. <laughs> I didn't want to switch because, you know, I want to level Julian, but these things happen. What I may need to do is uh, put Julian in the back of the party, focus on these guys for now, and just get through Mount Moon. Because if I keep having to go back to the Pokemon Center to heal Julian, this isn't, this isn't going to get anywhere anytime soon. So one second, guys. Healing trip. Oh, yeah. Antidote first, then healing trip. Thank you. 
I'll take it. <clears throat> you know what? I'll take it. Alright, so Julian has reached the next level. He has learned Tackle, which is not anything to get too excited about, but it's better than Sand Tomb, so you know what? I'll take it. Okay. So we're gonna explore down here real quick before we forget to. Dash it on through here. Nothing too exciting going on there, right? Oh, our first Team Rocket member! That's right. Hello, sir. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. Oh, look at me flex. I'm so evil. <laughs> Operator Leo. I need to smooth. Chikorita? No, I don't want to beat up Chikorita. Oh. If you insist. <laughs> Sorry, Kay Cray. <sighs> poor Petal. Oh, super Petal. Oh, poor Petal. Oh, no. And the poison tail does its work. Ooh, a crit too, that's just mean. Ugh, I feel bad. I feel bad about that one. Oh well. 35 and 75. Swinub. Ooh, ice type. Well, that's a job for Chosen because he resists ice and is good against ground types. The Chosen One! With his bubble beam and his frustration, which is really my frustration because I don't want him to have frustration. It's kind of a lousy move, really. It's not helpful. Rolling kick on a Swinub. What? Okay, that's that's a thing. That's that's fine, I guess. <laughs> Interesting choice. Slugba. Well, we do have several options here. The chosen is the one that makes the most sense, though. Could switch to Julian and go for the uh, Swords Dance Sand Tomb, but the accuracy on the accuracy on that leaves something to be desired. So let's just go ahead and stick with Chosen. He's got this. See, I need a fire type. Or something. My 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 team is starting to branch out type wise, but I am I am hurting for diversity. Good good chunk of experience, that. I blew it! Oh my mighty flexing evilness did not avail me. Oh no. Yeah, sorry, dude. You ran again. You are no match for Julian now that he knows tackle. You wouldn't match him before either, but like this doesn't take as long, hopefully. Put that there. Turn on the sand. Sorry, not sand. Sorry, swords dance. Sharpen our trunk for battle. Ching ching. Let's give it one more, just just for good measure. These fights take too long as it is. We don't want to take it any longer than it has to. Though she's gonna poison me, or yeah, you know, it's gonna happen. No, nope, or not, not yet. And now with the tackle of destiny. Destiny. Go for it. splash. Now nah, I'm just confused. Why would you even have that? Oh wow, I did nothing. Her defense must be ridiculous. Okay, saying then. It knows she knows stomp too. Okay, then Nidoran's a lot scarier than I thought she was. Apparently, her physical stats are legendary. Okay, let's just heal up quickly. I'm just glad she doesn't know a fire move to go with that drone of hers. Do, 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 do. Sand tomb, please. Oh, there's a sludge, okay. We resist that. It still hurts more than it ought to, you'd think. Come on, man. Hit the sand. It's a whole desert. Just pick up a desert and throw it at her. It's fine. Don't even, don't even think about it. Just do it. Stop giving her all these chances to make me nervous. Of course. Thank you. She still lived. Her defense is absurd. My goodness, I kind of wish I'd got one of these. You know, Queen could have been a beast. That's fine. First we heal, then we admire. I'm not gonna bother healing the poison until I'm out of this fight, because it's just poisoned me again, because that's how this usually works. I'm not gonna bother trying to hit her with another sand gem either, because my accuracy is apparently just in the toilet, so. Let's just tackle her. Yeah. 
you're, you're, you're just taking years off my life here. Can you stop, please? Stop trying to take Julian from me. I'm going through all of my potions to save Julian from a Nidoran. Life, life is throwing me a curveball today, people. This Nidoran is, is just too tenacious. She is not going down. Okay, now I'm going to tackle you and you're going to die. Thank you for allowing this to happen. Oi. That was not enough experience. That thing kicked my butt. Duh. Okay, that was fun in some universe. Moo Moo Milk. Yeah, I got more milk. That's good, actually. I'm, I, I'm gonna need it going through all the health items in this place that I'm doing. Talo? Hi there. Spike cannon. Oh, please, no. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> this cave is gonna be the end of me. <laughs> end of Julian, anyway. Arm thrust? What is this bird? It's multi-hit bird. It's a Swiss army knife of five hit moves. And it's fast, too. Just to insult me a little bit. Oh my goodness. This thing's gonna kill me. How is it so strong? I, I use reflect and it's still bashing me around. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Moo moo milk time. This is such a waste. Flail. And then it knew flail. It's, it, its attack must be ridiculous though. This thing needs to die. Like its defense cannot be high if, it, if its attack is this high. I hope anyway. Can you stop murdering me please? It's not... This net. What are you made of? Oh my goodness, this bird is horrifying. I thought the Nidoran was bad. Oh no, um, okay, so defense 24. Does anything else have even remotely the same defense? No. So whatever I switch in is gonna have even, is gonna take even more damage from this thing. What the heck do I do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna die to a Talo, a level eight Talo. Nidog, you haven't let me down yet. I'm, I'm, I'm scared for you, though. Of course, you, at, at, at least you can't be crit. Why does that do so much less damage, though? The reflect wore off. My defense is less. How does that make any sense? Spike Cannon's not special, is it? I don't think it is. It, it's still not even dying. I don't understand this bird, but I'm a little bit scared of it. Melt his brain. Make sure it never comes back here again. It frightens me. I don't I, I mm. Scary bird is scary. We're leaving. Okay, so Mount Moon is kicking my butt so far. I'm down to one healing item. This is very, very not good. Diglet. Because why wouldn't there be a Diglet here? I mean, the, the ground type makes sense. Which we'll just, just switch over to... To Wednesday, so she can't get, er, you know, er, earthquake or Fisher. Are you kidding me right now, game? You playing these games with me, game? Okay, <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't, no, no, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. The game's not freaking me out. <laughs> it keeps trying to kill my Pokemon. <clears throat> Those physical stats are very nice, Julian. Thank you very much. Let's just, let's just let's just press on. Let's just press on before. <laughs> Big smiles. Big smiles. Like you mean it. <sighs> happy, 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 joy, joy, joy. Yeah, yeah. Fury cutter doesn't hurt me. I don't care. I double. I, I double resist that. You do not. Minus one resist this. You 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 unresist this. Okay, I've already fought this guy here. Haven't fought you though. Can I get anywhere, game? 
keep that thing away from me. Yeah, yeah, the drought's intensifying. I get it. The drought's scary. I, 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 I got you. Sigurd, just luster purge this thing. This game wants me dead. There is no other explanation. It is out for my blood. Oh, goodness gracious, no. No! Poison Sting. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh, this cave is the worst! Wait till Rock Tunnel, it's gonna be worse! Okay, super effect- I, like, I, I know his special isn't that high, but like, Luster Purge, super effective, it's gotta do something. It didn't even die. Can you not even give me that much, game? Do you hate me so completely that you're- okay. Alright, alright, I see how it is. Like, if this keeps up, I'm, 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 genu I'm genuinely gonna have to go back and train to s and, like, heal so I can make it through this cave. Because if this keeps up, I'm not gonna make it through the cave. <sighs> that's, that's terrifying. Dang it, cave, leave me alone. Alright, alright. Julian is no longer allowed to be up front, not, uh, he's, which is fine. It's, 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 it's not his fault. But we can no longer afford to switch in Pokemon. We're taking too much unnecessary damage. Wednesday, you got this. You need to go through this cave to get to Cerulean City. <clears throat> it ain't, mate. You don't have a choice in the matter. Jasmine. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's Wormpool. That's right. The one, with the, 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 the one that has Signal Beam. Yeah, no. Not letting you anywhere near Sigurd right now. He's weak enough as it is. Get out of here. Shoot. Puchena. I don't have any fighting moves on tap or good bug moves, so you can just stay in against Wednesday. That's fine. Poison Tail. 75 base power stab is definitely going to be our best move against him. Oh, that's right, the present. That's right, he was the present dog. Throws bombs that don't do anything, so that's totally fine. Although healing would be nicer, just saying. Alright, put Jenna down. Wins level 14. Very, very nice. Two attack, two health, one everything else. Any new moves? No. Caterpie. Why are the wild Pokemon so much more horrifying than the tra than, than like the trained ones? Why is that? Because they're definitely more horrifying. Just saying. Oh goodness gracious! Oh, I lost might. Lost. Lost. Okay, new item. An antidote. Wasn't that a rare candy before? I don't know. That maybe, maybe this one was. An Incata. Huh. Interesting. I would be really interested to see if when it evolved into uh, Ninjask or uh, Shedinja, if it kept its ability or got two different ones. That would be cool. I would. I, I, I'm kind of sad I didn't get him or her now. Cause that would have been interesting. From a purely experimental standpoint. A revive. I can't use that. That's witchcraft. Well, I, well, I'm excavating for fossils here on the Mount Moon. Sometimes Brock up here, Jim lends me a hand. I'm well, good for Brock. Spinner Rock again. Yeah, Wednesday's gonna level up all kinds of times in this place at this rate, which is totally fine. It gets us through here easier, I'm all for it. I'm your way. We're gonna come out of this gym with a, with a super bulky Zubat. Ah, excuse me. Back here, thank you. Hi. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's much more grueling as well. I'm not even halfway through yet. I'm already half dead. Tamer Jasmine. A lot of these names are the same. What's up with that? Ditto. Oh, good. Uh, get poisoned. Before I can't poison you. Double edge. It's a ditto that doesn't know transform. What the? Okay. See, that's that's where the 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 randomizer really gets you is you forget that these guys don't have the same move. You see Ditto, and you think, okay, it's gonna transform, and then it doesn't transform. You know, you're like, what? What? Evie, that's nice. I'm half dead. I'm leaving. We're gonna go over to Nidhog. 
I'm really glad that Wednesday didn't die to that, by the way. Okay, Vice Grip. Oh, stop that. I, I can't believe that they gave Ditto Double Edge instead of uh, Transform, though. Like, that's, that's a huge, huge damage increase. Then again, I suppose they figured that since it only learns one move, they should probably give it a good one. So that hyper, hyper Beam, probably. Leering my defense down so I can be Vice Grip to death? I think not, Eevee. Your adorable tactics will not work on me when your brain is a pool of liquid on the floor. Oh, I lost it. Yeah. Okay, I am bleeding out of every orifice now. We need to let Nidhogg up front because he's the only, only one we have left who can fight. Worth a dang. We don't have any healing items left, so we need to get this right in basically one go. I'm so dead. Oh, I'm in deep trouble. We need to find a potion. Like, something that heals really, really soon. TM48, Teeter Dance. Yay? Question mark? It's not a yay. It's not even a woo, that's just kind of a eh. I don't I don't care about Teeter Dance. I, I I really don't. I'll figure that one out later. I I I don't I don't care that much. Alright, Rocket Man. How dead am I if I fight you? Probably pretty dead. That rock over there probably has an item on it though, so. Uh no. I'm done with you. I've had enough trauma at your hands today, thank you, Nidoran. Goodbye. All right, Rocket, what do you got? We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Come on. We're just nine to five workers like you. Operator Jonathan. Pidgey. Well, I fought a Pidgeotto a little bit ago. That wasn't that bad, so... Let's just hope that you follow the same pattern. Still tanky. Still has Feather Dance. What does that do again? Lower my attack, I think? Yes. Good I'm not using my attack. Twister is a dragon, and dragon in Gen 3 is, and before is special, so we're all good there. And a Doduo. Windy, 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 wind. Smelling salt. No! Why do they all know smelling salt? Why does everything know smelling salt in this game? I just want to limp out of this game in one piece. Is that really, really... <laughs> okay. Max Ether. Okay, guys, I have no choice. I need to limp back to the Pokemon Center. I really don't have any option right now. We're gonna lose someone if this keeps up. I, I've really got no option if I intend to not die. So, I'm gonna have to run as much as possible and just skip... <laughs> Why didn't I get you? That would have been so cool. Oh, that's not fair game, really, though. What? Oh, I'm speechless. I can't. I, mm, I'm mad now. Oh, that's not even remotely cool. I'm happy that I got Julian. I'm happy we got a fan Pete. But getting a torch would have been so with, with flamethrower at level nine would have been so much better. Okay, I'm just gonna saltily zap back to the Pokemon Center. I'll be back in a second, guys. Don't mind me. I'll just be over here fuming. Okay, we're back. We have potions. We have healed. We are ready to try the rest of this cave, hopefully. Uh, did you come to explore the cave too? I'm here all by myself. I left my mom at home. I don't need anyone. I'm a strong, independent operator, Jill. Wait, doesn't that mean he's part of Team Rocket? I'm watching you, kid. Zubat, hello. 
I know what you have then. So Reflect goes up first to avoid that pesky attack stat of yours. Then a few Swords Dances. We're gonna have Julian sweep this guy's team if we can. If we can. That's not gonna help things any, but Reflect will help offset that a little bit at least. So if he has a Ditto, we need to run because that thing's double edge is no joke. Can you not keep doing that, please? You're gonna keep getting the, the proc because I'm not allowed to have good night. Uh, I'm not allowed to have nice things. Stamp it. All right, all three swords dances. The reflect's gonna wear off in a turn, so let's go ahead and get this tackle going. Eh. That felt good, actually. <laughs> Meryl. Oh, water type. Dang it. <sighs> Fine. Sigurd. Not that uh, David Bowie was his name. It was all that impressive, really, but. Reflect War off. That's fine. Slashy, slashy. Water gun. What are gonna do about it? Oh, yeah. My pun caution for the day has been met. I am happy. Also, stop doing 10 damage exactly, please. I only have 40 health. Curlia. Why are we full of Curlia? This is the third one we fought. I'm gonna heal, because I remember this thing having aerial lace. Payday. We're in the money, apparently. Okay. Slash. It, it, it actually knows confusion. Wow, look at that. It actually, it actually knows a move that's supposed to know. That's a bit uh, perplexing, but fine. Critical Slash, and a nice level 15 for Sigurd. Who may learn something new if we're lucky. No attack! Really, three health, two speed, one special attack, and nothing, in it, nothing else. It's a very confusing level. Losing Stigs, it's so uncool! I'm gonna go home to my mom! Oh, no! His, of course, by, by, by his mom, he means Team Rocket, because he's an operator. He's covert. <sighs> covert kid intelligence. You know, Julian, who will get his sweep one day. It will happen eventually. You there, hiker man. Whoa, you shocked me, eh? Oh, you're just a kid. Well, if I'm just a kid, can you not pull out something horrible on me, please? Ver Sailor Veronica. <laughs> Machop. See, that's actually a hiker Pokemon. I would expect him to have that. Which means I should probably switch to Sigurd. He's got the uh, the anti-fighting. I'd say Wednesday, but there's a pretty solid chance this thing knows a rock move. So let's go with Sigurd. Because the odds of him knowing a bug move, decidedly less. Jump kick. But you missed. You kept going and crashed. Aha, take that. Luster Purge! Which again, not my best statistic, but it's still super effective, so that's all good. Up next we have Slowpoke, the revenge of the Slowpoke, who I believe I ended up pulling Nidhogg out against because it was decidedly tankier than I wanted it to be. Let's go ahead and skip to the end of that one. <coughs> Slowpoke gets pelted by rocks. And he flinched. Oh, good for us, bad for him. Uh -huh. 16 for Nidhogg. Three more health, two more special attack, one and everything else. Respectable. Ponyta! Oh, another Pokemon I wish I had. That'd be cool. Chosen can handle this one, as she is a fire type, or possibly he is a fire type, it is a fire type, there's a fire horse coming, get the water fish. He, he indeed. Bubbles! Bubbles! My bubbles. Oh, lower the speed as well. Very nice. And you have... Tackle. I was expecting Flamethrower like the bird had, but uh, no, apparently she's... Uh, sorry, he... he. For some reason, I always think the Ponytoy is a girl. I don't know why. But anyway, he has a normal move. Both in typing and in how common it usually is. Level 16 for the fish. Four levels until the Wallados. Wow, eh? Shucked again! 
then another item up here. Never mind. Spinarak interruption. Spinaractus interruptus. I'm not fighting you. Oh, apparently I am, actually. You had to get one of those in, didn't you? Every time you see me, I'm gonna bite your health in half. I'm gonna bite your health in half. I'm gonna bite your health in half. I get it. You know what? Fine. 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 This game makes me so salty sometimes. It's, it's exciting and it's cool and all that, but sometimes the salt is just coming out of my everywhere. Take that. Now. Peep up again. Apparently when I get some good moves, I'm going to be able to use them all day long. But until then, we're, you know, stuck with Tackle. Tackle and, uh, I mean, Slash ain't bad, actually. We have, we, we have some good moves, just not a lot of great moves. Yeah, through there in one piece. Okay, we're in the final stretch. Granted, it's a longer stretch. Cyndaquil! Why can I not have anything nice? I mean, I got Julian, and that's cool, but like Cyndaquil and Torchic and Mudkip, are you kidding me? <sighs> I'm getting salty. Can you tell? Fire spin! Spin! Fire, 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 spin! Fire, fire, fire! Guess what? I have Swords Dance and Sand Tomb. You want to have a spin fight? I will have you a spin fight, sir. You're fired. My sand will make some glass. We'll, 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 we'll go up. You know it's Karate Chop? Why do you know Karate Chop? What is this? Okay. All right. I need to go lie down. I need to, like, go get, like, a cold pack and go lie down. <laughs> uh -huh. This game is slowly eroding my sanity. I want some of this stuff. Karate Chop Cynical sounds awesome. I'm curious what ability it's got, though. I have no idea. Level 11 for Julian. Ooh, good level, actually. Very solid. Persim Berry. What does Persim Berry do? Uh, oh, it lifts Confusion. Nice. Occasionally useful. Occasionally very useful, in fact. So hard to predict when, it, uh, predict when you're going to need it in this, though. Okay. Another rocket guy up ahead here. Another operator. Don't even talk to me. Don't even look at me. If I could just run away from you, I would, but my Julian's speed is so low, it never works, so I need to switch Pokemon. Should have switched to the Chosen. Fire Punch! It's got Flamethrower and Fire Punch! And it's got... <sighs> I see, okay. I got you, I got you. You're just the most amazing thing I could possibly have gotten and I didn't get you. I see how it is, it's fine, it's fine, it's cool, it's all right. <laughs> I'm fine. I'll just keep, <laughs> I, should just title, I, should, I, should, I should just title this episode, I'm fine, no really. And no one's gonna believe me because you can tell that I'm not fine. There's a lot of not fine happening right now. <laughs> Go away. I don't want to see any more Pokemon I could have had. Oh, well, that makes me feel a little bit better, actually, because you're just a Pidgey. How awesome could you possibly be? Oh, wait, no, Sand Tomb, too. Oh, I see. So it just, it, it, it swapped in Sand Attack for Sand Tomb. That makes me laugh, actually. It's weaponized the sand. You merely adopted the sand. I was born in it. Molded by it. By the time I knew anything other than sand, I was already a man. I would name this Pidgey Bane and it would be silly. Get into a sand fight with a bird. Oh, this episode's gonna be so long. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I I didn't mean for it to be this long. I should have started it last time. What I should have done was was come in part of the way, gotten Julian, gone back out, trained some more, then come back in and finish it up. But as usual, I don't do these things properly. Uh, little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown ups. It could be bad news. News at eleven. Kid got wrecked. Ha 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 ha. Wellington. Ooh, very fancy. I should give you a, like. 
She's giving him the the the, uh, the British accent, being like, "Oh, ha ha, young child, I will ruin your day most efficaciously." That's not even a word. <laughs> most efficaciously. Is that, that's a word, I think. I'm using words I don't know that actually are, exist or not. I'm stressed. I've been getting fire punched and flamethrowered by a chicken. <sighs> okay, Nintata down, no problem. What's next? What 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 horrible monstrosity do I have to look forward to next? Bulbasaur. The unloved has returned to punish me for my sins. What you got? A peck, apparently, and you've got Mega Drain. That's pretty normal, actually. Better than... Well, no, it's about on par with whatever we get normally, really. But it heals him, which is better than than, than that Violent does. Fair enough. Bulbasaur, no more. Oh, I'm steamed. Oh, news at 11. Guy got wrecked by kid. That's right, man. Oh. I am so tired of you. Go away. Stop rubbing my face in it. And see, I, I can't not, like, I, I I have to switch out because I don't trust it to, like, Julian's speed is so low, I don't trust this to actually get away, and if, it knows fire, it knows, it just knows all the fire moves. When you pull out Flare Blitz, or like, you know, uh, whatever that move that uh, Charizard learns, that, like, only Charizard can learn, what is it? There's, there's uh, Frenzy Plant, I forget what, 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 what the Water and Fire versions are, but, but I would not be surprised if it knows that too. Was it like f flare burst, something like that? I, I forget. Just end the bird, end it rightly, and we shall go. Oh, I'm in pain. I'm in so much pain. No, no, go away. Stop it! Stop tormenting it! See, look. Ah, leave me alone! I don't want to do this! I just leave me alone! I'm just a little monster! What did I do to deserve this? You know what? I'm starting to think that, 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 that the ghost of Peanut is punishing me. She's like, here, take my son. You'll feel guilty and we'll take care of him forever. But, by the way, you could have had this! Shows me, like, the bird that's dripping in firepower. Literal firepower. Ugh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's totally, absolutely, 100% not fine. I am salty. I am so salty right now. It's fine. I, I also, I'm, 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 I'm not allowed to use the word fine anymore. I've used it, like, 80, 80 million times in this, this episode. Surskit. Hello. Didn't expect to see you there. Water pulse! That's gonna hurt. Yeah, quite a bit actually. But fortunately, it's a bug and it's not gonna die. Leech life? Dude, you're packing water pulse that can, and, 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 and are durable enough to resist a high attack flying move. You should just blow me away, but you didn't. So I'm gonna take it and run, because you would have killed my Wednesday otherwise. Level 12 for Julian. Three more defense, two more special defense, two more attack. Yeah, pretty good, actually. No new moves, though. I'm gonna walk now, because running agitates the evil. You get healed. You get healed. And I'm putting Wednesday up front for the rest of this cave. We need to get out of here. Like, this place is just eating me. All right, operator. What's your what's your dealio? We team Rocket shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokemon from them will give us huge riches. Oh yes, oh yes indeed. <laughs> it's a me, Evil Jasmine again. It, it, apparently, it's not very creative with its names today. Everyone's named Jasmine. Apparently, they're all like Disney princesses. It's fine, but like, come on. Whisper down. Zigzagoon, also going to be down in a moment. 
That poison tail, though. It's a really good stab move. That's gonna hurt. Ow! Not as bad as, as, as I was expecting it to, though, actually. Well, 16 for Wednesday. Keeping that growth coming. Two more attack. Feather Dance, which lowers their attack. Oh, yeah, Alright, I guess. That's in place of Wing Attack, I think, which makes me a little bit sad. Which means we're getting pecked for a while. Is there an item over here? I think there was. Nope, guess not. Oh, it's the next the next little area up. That's right. I'm not talking to you. You are right up there with the Flaming Bird. Don't even. Do not even. I can't even with you right now. Don't even. No, 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 no. Plus, we're adding even to, to, to the ban list. I said fine too much, I've said even too much. Mystic Water? That's quite good, actually. Gonna give that one right to the Chosen. Okay. <sighs> Spinner Rack, can you go away, please? I'm not interested in being bitten in half by you today. You spin a rack, I spin a rack. Hey, stop! I found these fossils! They're both mine! I don't want to share! Ah. Dancer Jessica. Star you! Now we're talking, that's a bit scary. Ah, uh, poison tailed. Oh dear. The miscalculations are mine. <sighs> nope, bye bye. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, who do I switch to? Oh, crap. Um, cigarette, I guess. I'm glad I didn't use that first, because then we couldn't have escaped. Okay, so it's reasonably tanky. Yeah. And it's packing a nice move. Not a very nice move, just a nice move, actually. You're not parts I could get, are you? You're still pure water. Right? Yes. Thank you, Memory. You actually worked for me there. A little, a little cooperation. Ammonite! <gasps> Lord Helix incoming! Oh no. For the Helix, Helix, Helix for my Pokemon, we must maintain. Oh, that song is so catchy. It's got Trace. Okay. Rock type, so it's got Sandstorm. Please have a low special defense, that would make my life a lot easier. Not even a little bit, although that did lower it, which is which is helpful. Once I know you don't have any ice moves, I'm gonna switch over to to um Nidhog, I think. Water gun. Yeah, we're fine. Although, the Lust of Purges might just stack up and get us a win this way anyway. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're fine. The Helix is going down to Sigurd's repeated Lust of Purges. So thank you, Latios. Latias, whichever one of you this is from. Oh, that low health makes my heart skip every time, though. I, I like, like be, being below 10 health just makes me nervous. Which is probably a fair response, really. Samoochum. Ice. Ice baby. I'm not a fan of that. We may need to keep Sigurd in and use Slash. Because weak to ice, weak to ice, weak to ice. I mean, the Chosen's fine too. Sort of ambivalent to ice in that case. Sand will hurt both of us equally, which is good. Ish. Let's go ahead and just sand tomb it to keep that extra damage going, I guess. Ice punch. Okay, good. It's horrifying, but it's a manageable kind of horrifying. That's all we can really ask for, you know?
beam. If you know what I mean. Mist, which does what again? It lowers, no, it, it, it like it gets rid of stat changes, I think, or something. No more sand, but the sand tomb is still going. We should finish this off with another with our with our last bubble beam, and we should be okay. I'm curious what the fossils will be as well, because do, do they work the same way as usual or what? Twenty-three, very nice. Okay, I'll share if I have to, since you beat me up. Eh. We'll each take a fossil. Now be greedy like I was a minute ago. Yeah, you're you're a saint. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mm. My bad. <sighs> oh, that I, I was pinching my nose to do his voice, and apparently my sinuses did not approve. One second. <sighs> okay, Helix Fossil. You know what? I, since I don't know what they're going to be, it doesn't really matter, does it? So Helix it is. We shall have our own Lord Helix. Alright then, this fossil is mine. Yeah, bye-bye. Have fun with that. No! I, I knew it would be you two. Like, the only way this cave could make this up to me... I didn't even realize I was still on you. I am sorry. The only way this cave could make this up to me is if it gave me like a shiny torchic. Like, 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 like I'll, I'll be walking out the door and I'll get my last encounter and it'll be a shiny torchic. I can just catch it and go. Because that would be amazing. That would be just the best thing. It'd be like Christmas early. Christmas like six months early. Oof. Okay. That mystic water bubble beam working for us. Fire spin, not so much. Bubbles! <sighs> oh, wow, though. This episode has been just taxing. We need to get into that, 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 that Pokemon Center and get the heck out of here, I tell you that. Another Max Ether. This cave is so unhelpful with that. Oh, we're free, thank goodness. The straight shot, straight shot to Cerulean City. Although, what do you guys teach? A punch of roaring ferocity, packed with destructive power. When the chips are down, Mega Punch is the ultimate attack. You agree, yes? Now, it's usually Pokemon. Okay, see, the thing is, the tutors are randomized as well, so it won't be Mega Punch. What is it? Teach them what? What is it? Hypnosis? So Wednesday and Sigurd can both learn Hypnosis, which is... Not that good of a move, it's not very accurate, but it's at least interesting. What do you got? A kick of brutal ferocity, packed with destructive power. When you get right down to it, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Don't you agree? Okay, I'll teach you Pokemon. Of course you will. What do you got? What is this? Headbutt. I mean, that's actually a good... Wait, how can Julian not learn Headbutt? That's odd. It's a good move, though. I'm gonna give it to Wednesday, because Sigurd already has a good normal move. The Chosen isn't really offensively oriented. And Wednesday could use something that's not poison or flying. So, she gets, she's she's gonna get it. The Dance I'm not that excited about, but Acid is also sort of irrelevant, because... I mean, Poison Tail is better. You know, except for some very, very specific circumstances. So, Acid, goodbye, headbutt, hello. I guess I'll give Sigurd Hypnosis just so he can help us catch stuff. Now we are soulmates in the way of kicking. Should run before you've seen, but before you are seen by the deluded nitwit who trains only simple punching over there. Of course, you know what this means? That this guy has literally learned how to punch someone so hard they fall asleep. That's 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 actually really dangerous in real boxing, because if you're able to to, to like that's that's like just a concussion punch. You're, you're just giving people concussions. And as for the other guy, you know, he's he's learned how, how, how to kick someone so hard they bang their own head on, on the floor. Headbutt, you know, like that's that's impressive too. Concussion kick and f f floor face man. I don't know. <laughs> Swallow. Because the game wants to remind me that I need that that, that uh, no matter what it gives me, I just have to swallow it. We do have a catch here to do, and I do want to. You know what? Because I want to train between episodes, I'm gonna go over there and heal. I'm gonna come back here and catch our our our, our new team member, and that will be the end of the, the the end of the episode. Because this is long enough 
But I want to at least make sure that next episode goes a little bit smoother. So we're going to go do our, our catch while, while, while the catching's good. Because we're already going to... We're, we're, we're already too long of an episode. There's no... You know, it's, it's like the, the damage has been done. So whatever, I guess. We do have Pokeballs, don't we? I'm fairly certain I do. Six Pokeballs. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's go see what our catch is. And then we can end this off. And I'm sorry this episode was so long, you guys. I just wanted to get this done. Alright. So. As recompense for our Torchic, we're gonna get what? A Shelter. It's a Water Ice type. You know, wa we need, need, need a Water Stone to evolve it, which is gonna be really weird as it is. And the odds of us getting a Water Stone are pretty, pretty small, really. I don't trust myself not to just kill it if I hit it, so let's go ahead and use a Pokeball. It could be an alternate water type to the Chosen, though, and on the off chance that he, you know, the, the, the Wallados isn't as awesome as we all think it's gonna be. Ice is always a good type to have around. Shelter, the bivalve Pokemon. Its hard shell repels any kind of attack. It is vulnerable only when its shell is open. Alright, and you are, of course, a shellfish. And clam. Uh, I need some, some kind of name for you. Um, I'm just gonna call Shelly because, of course, she's a shellfish and it's a girl. Shelly. What does Shelly have? Let's just see. Relaxed. Imm immune to poison. No speed to speak of, but solid special attack. Good defenses. Whirlpool and Water Gun. I mean, that's not bad. I'm not sure I want to have two water types, but that's not bad at all. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm actually quite tempted to keep her around. Training two water types would be a pain in the neck, but her stat line is really good. Like, she's not as wally as the Chosen? But considering her attack stat is already higher and she's 10 levels lower, that's something. It's just the whole problem of having to find a water stone to evolve her is the real niche. Because I, th I, think, I, think, I think you could buy them at the sell it on department stores? So that might not be so bad. What else could we have gotten here, I wonder? Rattata. Wow, dodged a bullet on that one, didn't we? Okay, let's just, let's, let's just head back to the center. Or not. Curlia. Apparently Curlia is everywhere. You I kill because you're actually worth the experience. Really? Sounds about right, I guess. But this... <laughs> the game is just enjoying ribbing me today, that's for sure. It knows Sing, too. It knows Aerial Ace, Confusion, Sing. And I can't hit it to save my life. Literally. It's gonna kill me if this keeps up. Sigurd, hit it. Thank you. Sixteen, two more health, one and everything else. Mind reader, which is good for accuracy. You know what? Actually, with hypnosis around, that's not a bad thing. We'll we'll, we'll swap it in prison for mind reader. That way, we can always hit the hypnosis if we have to. Because with my luck, it takes me three turns to use hypnosis anyway, so what the heck, why not? Alright, you guys. I'm sorry this one was so long. I'll be sure to cut down the next one as best as I can. I'm gonna go and train. I'll leave the grinding onto the next episode, I think. We'll, 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 we'll start off with the grinding. We're gonna get Julian and Shelly up a little bit. Make sure we're ready to fight Monster, our rival, in the next one. And take on the Nugget Bridge and Misty. Who will probably not be Misty or Water Trainer at all, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Again, sorry this one was so long. Be sure to be sure um, to uh, hit the, the uh, like button and subscribe on your way out if you had a good time here. If you uh, enjoyed what you saw and want to see more. I hope you do. And um, yeah, have a great rest of your day. Make sure, be sure to drop by Arvidal's channel and see how, Ma how Mount Moon treated him. See what it dangled in front of him for an hour. <sighs> Still salty. And um, yeah. 
Have a, have a great day, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. And be sure to stay tuned for the appreciation segment, which is beginning in just a moment. Bye-bye! Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome to the appreciation segment of our video. So on our last video, a good way to spend 500 bucks, the uh, eighth, third episode of our Pokemon Leafy Randomizer run, we got 7 likes, 31 views, and 15 comments coming from Crispy Sylveon, Julian Paparelli, Jicky Derp, and Arvidal. So thanks so much to all you guys for dropping on by. It's thanks to your continued support that the channel keeps growing. So thank you so much. I appreciate it very much. The channel itself is up to 315 subscribers as of this recording, so thank you all so, so much. As always, you know, this channel could not be what it is without all of you, because I'm just one person and I need all you guys to pitch in and just, you know, be awesome like you are for us to get anywhere with it, basically. So, uh, yeah. Sorry again that the episode was so long. Uh, I'll do my best to cut down future ones. And let me know if you think I should just cut out the grinding in future. I'm strongly tempted to do so because it takes up too much time. So, we'll see. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a great rest of your day. And for now, a Monster Mad out. Bye-bye.